in the last session we have learned how to consume a RFC which we have created in our S4 HANA system and I explained the process of how to call the RFC in the same system with destination none. So in case if we don't have two different systems to test, so you can do the RFC testing as per the process which I explained in the previous lectures. Now in this lecture we will understand, suppose we have created our RFC in the S4 HANA system and we want to integrate EC system with S4 HANA through that RFC. So here the first step is we have to create the RFC in our source system that we have already created in our S4 HANA system that is ZDEMO underscore RFC and now after that in the EC system first we have to create a RFC destination with the IP address and the login credential of S4 HANA system because from ECC we want to call the RFC which is in S4 HANA system. So for that first our RFC destination need to be created with the transaction code SM59. This step comes under the basis role but in case if you have the access and you can do that so through T code SM59 you can create that. After that we will create a program in EC system to call the RFC of S4 HANA. So here what I will do I will copy this Z demo RFC in HANA system to a new RFC that is ZECC demo RFC. This is optional, I am just creating to differentiate. So let's log in to first S4 HANA system to copy this RFC and then we we'll log into EC system to create a RFC destination with SM59. So this is my S4 HANA system. Here you can see in the system and status. This is a S4 HANA system. 2022 on premises and second I have one EC system. This is the EC system. Okay, so I want to integrate this EC system with the S4 HANA. This is the old one EC system. Okay, so what I will do first step as I explained, I want to copy our ZDEMO underscore RFC which we have created to a new RFC just to differentiate there is no need actually but I am just creating with the name of ECC ok Z ECC underscore demo RFC copy go to change mode and activate ok just I have given a new name fine now the first step is done now the first, now the in EC system, you have to create the RFC destination. For that, go to transition code SM59 if you have access. And here we can see multiple RFC connection types, ABAP, HTTP, TCP, IP. So for SAP to SAP connection, we have to use ABAP. Click here and click on create. Give any meaningful description, here I am giving ZK. HANA ok HANA server 2022 this is already exist so let me give us one new name ZK HANA 1 ok I am giving the RSC destination name as ZK HANA 1 and here in the target host we have to enter the IP address and here the system number from where we can get all this information from our login pad log on screen copy the application server name and this is system number so I copied that I am entering here here enter the system number press enter second step is log on and security here we have to enter the details like user ID and password of the HANA system 
okay of this hana system we have to enter currently i am creating this in ec system so we have to enter login details of as per hana system here so let me quickly enter the my id password and i will show you next step so i have entered my id password in the logon security tab okay i can't show that so i have enter in logon security tab id password and now save second is we have to do connection test okay so now here if i click on connection test see connection test as per our system so here we can see the connection test is successful and this is the time it took to connect to the hana system in case of error we can see everything in the red with the error details so this means that our ecs to hana connection is established successfully with this rsc destination zk hana 1 fine so our second step is done here first we copy this rfc and we have created rsc destination with sm59 so next what we will do we will create a program in ecs system to call this rfc